Um, what you expect in the Big Ten game, certainly at this point in the season. So clearly a lot of things we need to do better, and top of the list is just ball security. You, know, you can't win football games, turn it over three times. And, um, you know, two of those uh, directly tied to six points that they got. So that, that's first and foremost. That will never change. And then just, you know, the opportunities we did have, we, we weren't able to capitalize, and that's um, certainly unfortunate. So proud of our guys. I thought the guys played hard. I thought they had a good week of practice. I thought the effort was good, and they competed hard. And, um, you know, guys that are, are, you know, partially injured, that type of thing, you know, found a way to get out there on the field and compete. So certainly appreciate that. And, uh, you know, it's just a, it's a tough thing. Anytime you take one on the chin, that's hard. You know, we get that back on our feet tomorrow, go back to work. And uh, in this circumstance, we've got an extra week here to figure things out a little bit and see if we can't uh, find a little better remedy. And uh, really, no different than we did a month ago. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And uh, should I go to officiating or not? Yeah, want me to hit that one? So, okay. So I'll start off by saying whatever I do say, hopefully, if the Big Ten deems it necessary to find me. Hopefully they'll uh, maybe find in their hearts to send it to a good cause, like the Children's Hospital would be a good place to start. But uh, it's just a, it was a peculiar game, and the fact that we had six replays today, I can't remember a game, maybe we've had some with that that amount. That's interesting. And uh, Really, the, the, the last play is just, you know, it, it's a little bit tough. So I uh, had the target on the kickoff. That's a first for me. Um, I'm not saying making any judgment on that, but uh, the last one was just, yeah, it's, it's hard to take that one. It really is on a couple levels. So first of all, I don't know how to coach our guys because we cover that in pregame with the officials each and every time about fair catch procedure, above the head, wave. Uh, we also cover pointing to the ground for, a, for an errant kick, which there were several of those today. So it's something we've covered with every crew that comes through. Pretty standard procedure, I would imagine. And, um, you know, so it was interesting, the, the final analysis of that play. And probably the most peculiar part to me is that, uh, as I understand it, at least the initial replay was to find out if he was in or out of bounds, if Cooper stepped out of bounds, which clearly he didn't. And I, I appreciate the replay on that. That's fine, do their homework, you know, make sure they're correct on that. But then somehow we went from there to a whole different series of topics. And that's, it's, it's really hard to accept the explanation that we got. Uh, and I guess, you know, I'm, I'm still not fuzzy. Maybe I slept through the meeting when they covered that, but I'm still not sure who makes the final decision. I know we go to Pittsburgh for analysis, and, um, you know, my theory there is the more people get involved, probably the more screwed up things are. So uh, if it was up to me, if anybody wanted my opinion, it ought to go back to the official who's on the field talking to the coaches. He should have the final say. That might clean some things up. It might, might not make it right, but it would be a little bit easier to understand. So, you know, whoever the wizard is behind the curtain, you know, that's, it is what it is. So, um, you know, again, credit our opponent. Their effort was good. I thought our guys have, uh, played hard. And, uh, yeah, it's just tough to find, uh, you know, the right words to say to our team after, after something like that. So we'll work on that, see if we can come up with a good answer for them tomorrow. What exact explanation did they give you? Well, again, I, I thought it started was the inbounds, out of bounds. And yeah. we went from there to uh, pointing, which is legal because, you know, Aaron punt. And then I was told that he was waving. And what they tell us in pregame is a wave is up here yeah. above the head. And most people, when they run, their arms do wave. So if you looked at the video, it looked like he was naturally running to the football and then just made a great play. One of the best ones I've ever seen. So that, that part's the hardest part is that, uh, you know, an unbelievable effort. It's, you know, yanked off the board. What do you say to Cooper after something like that? Oh, there's nothing. I mean, we, that, that's the question I have right now. What do you want me to say? You know, so there's nothing to say. You know, really isn't. Kirk, you've been coaching for a long time. Have you yep. ever seen anything that bad? remotely no. like this? No. No. How frustrating. And, and it's, it's bad because what gets worse is the explanations you get. I thought we were talking about inbounds, out of bounds. I thought we started there. So how it, you know, it just, I guess we're in a whole new world. Yeah, a whole new world. And was it coach, Very interesting. Coach Ferentz, was it in the middle of the conversation? Uh, I mean, I thought at first they were reviewing him being out of bounds. That's what we all thought. And, and, and I had no idea. All of a sudden they said he, would, he, he made a fair catch. How, how we got from point A to point B, I, I have no idea. I don't know what that path was. And I, I've heard the explanation, um, the reporting of it, and you know, it's hard to make it make sense. 
again, to make it consistent with the conversations we have with the officials before every game regarding that topic. It's yeah. something you always cover. It's just you know, just in case it does happen, we're all on the same page. They, now they claim that there was a circular motion that was made, not as not above his shoulders, yeah. but. Is that ever been covered before? Because I've never heard it personally, but yeah. I, I don't know. You've been in more most meetings. Two, two things. I would I would object to that that description of what I saw in the video. You know, just looking at the video, which they showed several times. And secondly, I go back to the point about pregame. It's it's above the head, waving the, the signal. So, you know, and where this gets hard, it, it gets hard on the officials because I'm not sure. I think they know the rules. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. They know more more than we do. Uh, but then, you know, how do we get from here to here on that interpretation? And bigger question is like, where's that come from? Because I'm not sure. Again, we, we covered in pregame, so I'm not sure how we went from there to here. But this is what it is. You mentioned that there were six reviews, and especially with TV playing such a big part in college football, changing the timing rules. Do you feel like referees go to review too often for the good of college football? No, I mean, you know, a lot of that's generated from the replay booth, as I understand it. Sure. So, you know, if it's a close play, bang, bang, they, they'll do that. And I think it's probably a good thing. But, um, yeah, today, I, it's just, it was unusual. You know, it was unusual. And then, you know, the last one was extremely costly to us. Thanks, sir. When you look at the, the 